I'm Archbishop Mark Coleridge and you are watching Q&A, question and answer for the Catholic leader. One of the things I've often said is that we have to become a more biblical church at this time and that's an essential part of us becoming a more missionary church. Now, what do I mean when I say we have to become a more biblical church? Well, first of all, it means we've got to read the Bible more. Uh, we've got to pray the Bible more. Uh, we have to study the Bible more. So I'd encourage you in every way to read the scripture, to pray the scripture, there are all kinds of ways of praying the scripture. We speak of Lectio Divina, but there are all kinds of other ways of praying the scripture. And then study the scripture. Again, there are, there are some wonderful aids to the study of, of scripture. So the first thing we have to do together, not just me and you individually, but us together, is to read the Bible. It won't hurt you. Pray the Bible and study the Bible. Because the Bible, you can never say you've got to the end of biblical study. I've spent much of my life studying the Bible, but I still feel as if I'm only a beginner. So that's the first thing we've got to do. Read, pray and study the, the scripture. But there's more to it than that. We also have to become a people who think and feel and imagine and speak and act in more biblical ways, ways that have been shaped by our reading and praying and studying of the biblical text. So, so it get, becoming a more biblical church means it touches our whole being. A people who, who think and feel, imagine, speak and act out of the biblical matrix in more biblical ways. But that will only happen if you hear in the Bible a living voice, not a dead voice once upon a time. The Bible is not like walking into a museum. In the Bible you hear, you can hear, a living voice. And in the end we Christians say it is the voice of Jesus who is the word of God in flesh. So the voice of Jesus comes at us from the page of scripture. And once we hear that living voice, the Bible takes off. It's not once upon a time, it's here and now as a living voice and therefore as presence and power. Therefore, when I say that we have to become a more biblical church, what I'm really saying is we have to become a more listening church. Listening most of all, and first of all, to the voice of Jesus Christ risen from the dead, the voice that comes at us from the page of scripture. But also a people who have a capacity to listen to the voice of the world, listen to the voice of our own heart. So a more listening church and once we become a more listening church, and only then will, will we be able to become a more missionary church. And that's what I mean when I say that becoming a more biblical church is an essential part of becoming a more missionary church.